Let's go to the the viral thing of the month, year, whatever. I, we found uh, Mark actually got into it. Kate Cassidy's TikTok when Liam Payne died, and we weren't looking for this. But once we saw one, you know, which was her returning home to Miami and that mm-hmm. long thing, which she did nothing about. No, I immediately, immediately hated her. Yeah, you couldn't help it. And then she says, literally, obviously, and basically. Oh, and like. Like. Oh, and like, yeah. No, her crutches are so bad. Oh. I'm stunned that one of her 500,000 followers or one of her friends don't t- doesn't tell her, look, you got to stop saying literally all the time. So why don't we watch the one first that you and Bentley oh, were so one? into? Okay. You know, when growing up, your parents were like, stop spending money at Starbucks and Dunkin' and literally use the coffee machine. But like... Do you remember that, Drew? Do you remember that growing up? No. Your parents were like, what? You don't remember that? When they literally did literally, that? Literally? They literally did that? And I don't think my you parents, know, parents called Dunkin' Donuts Dunkin'. <laughs> Or like, stop spending money at Starbucks and Dunkin' and literally use the coffee machine. But, like, coffee is, like, $5 a day, right? So I was just told to buy this coffee machine for our new house. Um, this machine is literally almost okay, $1,000. So, so she, she has the picture behind her. It's $918. Now... She said, "Wait, her parents told her to buy that." No, she didn't say who told her to buy it. She said somebody told her to buy it. Literally, which, so it'd be cheaper no. to go to Starbucks for five dollars a day forever <laughs> than get a coffee machine. By the way, they're they're not all nine hundred dollars. That okay. was my point. You don't have to get that <laughs> coffee machine for a new house. <laughs> um, this machine is literally almost a thousand dollars. Literally. <laughs> Girl math, this is not saving any money. <laughs> Literally, saving money would be going, sitting on the drive through line at Starbucks and buying oh, yeah. a 5 to $6 coffee once a day. So, using the calculator, calculator, you would spend $180 a month. You can get a Keurig for 80 you bucks, literally bitch. literally got coffee every single day at Starbucks instead of spending $1,000 on the coffee machine. So, bottom of the line is, Pause for a second. No, I will not buy that coffee bottom machine. Bottom of the line. What to- is bottom of the line? Bottom yeah. of the line. She could... <laughs> After seven months, she would be making money on her coffee machine. Yeah. After seven months, it would be paid for. She really believed, she really did the math on this. Yeah. No, I most- did, I, that, that's what Jim and I were really like, that math doesn't really pan out the way you think it does, lady. And then, of course, the commenters on the on her TikTok are like, well, plus, uh, if you buy the coffee machine, you got to buy coffee beans. <laughs> <laughs> and then someone's like, yeah, but if you drive to get coffee at Starbucks, then that's uh, gas money. Wait, so people are acting like this is a reasonable debate? Yes, yeah, no, and and it's, you know, and then somebody who's... Just because she's Liam Payne's girlfriend with huge tits, they give her edges in math, too? Yeah, Yeah. pretty much. See see if you follow her math logic, or as she likes to say, girl math logic. I'm at Starbucks and buying a 5 to $6 coffee once a day. So, using the calculator, you would only spend $180 a month if you literally got coffee every single day at Starbucks instead of spending $1,000 on the coffee machine. So, bottom of the line is, no, I will not buy that coffee machine, and we are going to Starbucks every single day. Plus, I do not think that coffee machine is going to make my sugar-free vanilla lattes. Oh, there's the real answer. Ah, uh, yeah. She, she doesn't want to have to. Yeah, she doesn't want to have to uh, you could actually buy do the labor. a $2,000 coffee machine, and you would be saving money in 14 months. No, because you'd have to get a new one, apparently. I think she, I think she thinks you have to get a new coffee machine. Every, uh, Every single month? year, maybe? I don't know. Well, not only that, the 180 buck. I can't believe we're actually doing acting no, like this Drew, is it's, a reasonable it's ridiculous. discussion. ridiculous. But she's only getting one cup at Starbucks with a machine you could make lots of coffee. She only <laughs> well, no, I know. One cup a day is all she wants. Uh, I tell you what no, the it's comments. the labor of putting the drink together because I guarantee you her order is very specialized. I'd tell you where the comments are on some of her most recent posts, but they're all just like, oh, I feel so bad yeah. for you. And, oh, oh you of course. Peace. Would well, you guys like to get to know her? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of let's course. get to know her before we play the literally game. All right. <laughs> get ready with me while I tell you random facts about myself. Yes, Fox. I'm sitting outside. It is freezing in my house because the AC is on blast. So I literally brought all my makeup outside, and we were going to get ready outside. Outside, and we were going to Now, do you understand that logic? That doesn't really tell me much about her. Do you understand that logic? Your air conditioning is so cold, you have to go outside to warm up? No, it tells me either that <laughs> Liam is unreasonable and keeps the house at 58 degrees, or she can't handle one she, degree lower than what she likes, she and so she's making it? a big display of, <laughs> we have to go all the way outside to do my makeup. She's such an idiot. Get ready outside. Okay, I'm going to start basic. I'm 25. I'm from New Jersey, and I now am living currently in Florida. After I graduated from high school, I moved to South Carolina, where I went to college at Coastal Carolina University, which is about like a 20-minute drive from Myrtle Beach. It's great content. I studied communication and public health, 
and I graduated back in 2021. She's a college graduate. I was there, joined a sorority my wow. second oh, year. I good. actually tried to rush my freshman year, but I got super hungover and I threw up on the bus in front of everybody. And I couldn't change my clothes, so I was walking around <laughs> during recruitment with throw up all of my clothes and I literally smelled disgusting. Literally, you know, literally. looking back at it, I probably should have went home straight from that. Yeah. But I was like, I'm not yeah. giving up. I'm still going to go through recruitment because yeah. I want to be in a sorority so bad. You're an idiot. But of course, I ended up getting dropped by every single sorority except for one that I just didn't think was a good fit for me. So what? I just the one that wanted you. The, the losers. Year. They're the only After one college, that I understood. No, that's why she didn't want to be a part of it. <laughs> it was the only one. That's hilariously ridiculous. <laughs> Everything she does is hilarious. Could anything be more obvious than, look, there's one sorority that understands what you went through and still wants want you. They're and not 29 cool enough. Said, oh my god, she puked. Fuck her. I'd rather wait a year to get into a different one. The one that I want. Yeah. That literally will do stuff for me down the road. Uh, obviously. I only lived in Charleston for one year because I met Pam and I moved to England. So I'm actually half British. My mom is fully British. My dad is American. So I was actually baptized in London. Wow. And I have my mom's entire side of the family that still lives in London. My mom was one of nine. She was the only one to move to the US. So I have all my mom's side of the family still there. I met the majority of my friends Plus in London second. from either Dan She grew up in the United States of America. Yeah. Correct? Her entire life. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, can you say you're half British because your mom's family lives in the UK? Literally. You're half British? She's very tight with that family, though. Uh -huh. Wouldn't that be English? I mean, wouldn't that be her, if you did her genealogy? I mean, I th I, she is what she is. I'm not going to question her. 23 and me, but if she grew up in the United States her entire life, I don't think you'd be half British. Her mom totally immigrated here. <laughs> I think that Liam has made her half British. Yeah. That's what she <laughs> Liam thinks. has made her mo more British yeah. than her yes. genealogy. Yeah. One of nine. She was the only one to move to the US, so I have all my mom's side of the family still there. I met the majority of my friends in London from either damning them on Instagram or through my cousin, who's also my age, and she introduced me to so many cool girls. <laughs> so we moved to Florida about three months age. ago or four months ago in the beginning of May. Rumors are true, the weather in England sucks, and it genuinely kind of makes you depressed waking up every day, like, to dark skies and rain. It's also really nice because I'm so close to all my friends, and, like, all of my best friends live here in America. And <laughs> you majority grew up of my here. friends actually live in Miami. I've also been seeing a lot of comments about what happened to Stanley and the bunnies. So the bunnies we found a new home for because oh, yeah, we felt like we just, like, weren't giving them enough attention. Bunnies are literally like cats. Like, they are not hamsters. <laughs> they're literally they like cats. No, they're, like they're not. Like they're eating the bunnies. Or or the they're bunnies. not literally like cats. So we ended up giving them to a family who owns, like, a farm. They're outside. Yeah, they right. are you together. Shot them. They them. fed them to snakes. Sure they weren't separated. So all is good. And then with Stanley, we still have Stanley, of course. We love Stanley. He's always going to be a part of the family. Have you met Stanley, um, by the way, Drew? No, right the now. stupid dog. The oh, yes, I have. I'm sorry. It's really hard because of his breed a lot. It's very hard to get him registered to be able to go on a plane. Nothing makes me more angry than stereotypes of dogs. <laughs> That's a shitty edit. Do you know what she's talking about there? No. Her dog, I believe, is a pit bull. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because that woman, she was like 20 feet away from yeah, me. Oh, you've seen that. Oh, get your dog away from me. And so oh, she told the dog, she said, what kind of dog is that? And she said a pit bull, like it was a full pit bull because yeah. she hated the lady for being scared of her dog. But she, she decided to scare her more. But she's bitching here because it's hard to get it approved to be a therapy dog to get it on a plane. <laughs> Because <laughs> it's a fucking pit bull, pit bull, which is a big dog. I want to take my dog to London. No, that is not therapeutic for the other passengers when you take a pit bull. Uh, they then need their own security. the other passengers. I mean, we've already seen what she's like when she flies. She's got that whole <laughs> fucking spot, spot to herself. Wait, that dog goes on the plane no, with her? No, I don't, I, don't I don't think she's ever gotten it on the plane. Yeah, she tried, is, She's though. trying to get a pit bull on yeah. a plane. Yeah, that's what she was saying. To visit my family uh, in England. That's what she's complaining about here. Family, of course. We love You don't family. take your He's dog to fucking England! Um, our family friend is taking care of him right now. We're trying to get him over to the States, but it, unfortunately, it's really hard. Because of his breed, a lot. It's very hard to get him registered to be able to go on a plane. Nothing makes me more angry than stereotypes of dogs. Literally. Nothing makes you more angry than stereotypes of I mean, definitely not stereotypes of humans. Ever meet. Literally, my friends who weren't even dog fans literally loved my pit bull. It's all about the owner, literally. not the dog. It's about also, the owner, not the dog. Last year, and I feel like the results are so subtle, and I'm like still like in the healing process, but. We will see what happens. They say that it takes one full year to let your nose heal, and I'm liking the results, but I kind of wish it was a little bit more. Wait, what happened to her nose? She had a nose job. But even though I got a nose job, I'm always still contouring my nose because nose contour slaves. Bye, guys. Bye.
Oh, Bye. Thanks for the information. I really okay. got to know her. Uh, Brandon, you have a, a watch with a second hand? Um, <laughs> yeah, I can pull out my Let's stopwatch right see now. see how long she can go without saying literally in her, just going randomly through her TikTok. Mm. All, right. All right. Here's one I got queued up right here. Start. And start the... Oh, this is her and Liam at the hotel, right? Late night burgers. Yep. This is the outfit. Don't cool. ask what I'm wearing. Burgers, even though we literally just <laughs> ate far? like a five quarter <laughs> Time. Seven, seven seconds. <laughs> next. Oh, you just want to go to the next one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't want to see her and Liam get burgers. Okay. okay. She's outside in front of her house, or Liam's house. Sits her out. Start. So I just came back in to my complex, and the security woman... Oh, she's so cute. She was literally like, so nice. Stop. Like, Can you remind me? <laughs> okay, next. Six seconds. <laughs> All right, here she is looking good in her house. Hair looks nice. Start. Seen a couple girls post about this, and I just wanted to come on here and also express that I literally, it doesn't matter how beautiful <laughs> that was a record. you are, you could be literally <laughs> oh, a two. top model. Two in standards. the first eight and seconds. I want to hear the rest of this. In any sort of way, disrespectful, rude, come off. Come off, bitchy. You immediately just are ugly. In my past couple of years, wow. I've met so many beautiful women who are so kind. And in my eyes, I'm like, she's oh my an God, advocate for beautiful women. Mm. Angel, beautiful person I've ever seen. But I've also met so many beautiful women that are so mean. Literally will look at you, look right past you, just so rude, so mean. One of my biggest pet peeves is when you see a girl laughing at you or your friend. <laughs> Why? What's so funny? Pause, that literally pause, pause, pause. All of this cool. is hilarious. I don't lady. think that's a pet peeve when someone is <laughs> laughing at you. Because people don't generally laugh at people to their faces. That would be more like something you really don't like about somebody. A pet peeve is like a minor thing. Somebody that brushes them. their hair too yeah. much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, or uses the word literally too much. <laughs> yeah, that would be a pet peeve. So this one uh, is one dumb woman. It's sorry. <laughs> it took four seconds in that video. You want to continue this one or go to the next? Yeah, let's go. To, uh, yeah, let's see the rest of this. I want to hear about beautiful positive, women. Yeah. If anything, that actually makes you look embarrassing. Like, what are we in high school? Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing at my friends? Why are you laughing at me? What's so funny? Something I always <laughs> say to my friends is when they go on Maybe first dates all to time. really pay attention how he or she treats the waiter. That is a huge thing. When I first started dating my boyfriend, <laughs> I noticed he was extremely kind <laughs> to all the servers, extremely kind to anybody that would come up to him, and that literally made me look at him so with so much respect. So he can beat Anyways, you, but as long as he's nice to the waiter. Because I've been seeing so many videos on my For You page about it, and it's honestly so true. Like, I've experienced meeting so many different people, and it really is true. If you are just rude in any way, mean, mean girl energy, not a girl's girl, you genuinely are ugly. Ugly. So be nice, be respectful, don't be a bitch, and that is the best advice I could give you. Then you'll be pretty. See you okay. I love getting I, a lecture from this idiot. I know, I, I hate to pile on, but I think that she considers herself quite worldly. Oh, no <laughs> doubt. Well, she's half British. <laughs> <laughs> She's playing a game you. here. I don't know if she'll say literally. Let me see. What oh, this is, is okay. This is the scan. Uh, something scans your face oh, and yeah. tells you who you look like. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Well, I imagine it's gonna be. So there's no literally here. I hope it's somebody. Else. Game is suspended. <laughs> Taylor Swift. <laughs> not, really? Not even close. No, I don't think so. Not even close. No, she's no. Way. Uh, is it because I watch too many of these that I do not find her to have that pretty of a face? She's pretty hot. Maybe. No, she's got a killer body, but I, I'm just, just sick of her horse face. I can't, I can't, I can hardly look at her because I just listening to her lecture yeah. me is too much. All right, she's going grocery shopping. I need some, I need some pink cocaine. She's <laughs> unloading her groceries. Let's see how long it takes before she says literally. Let me sync up the time here. Beep up. This is going to be an early one. All right, and go. We're going to do a Trader Joe's haul. I feel like I can't like fully grocery shop at Trader Joe's, but they have some of my like favorite little snacks. I got some leaf chips because it's raw. These cold brew coffees are so good to have in your fridge. These are literally the best snacks That was the longest one yet, 11 seconds. Yeah, 12. I had 12. Why does she think everyone wants to see what she bought? Well, I don't know in the getting to know her video if you heard that she had, what was it, a major in... Like health and nutrition, didn't she say that? Didn't yeah. she have some kind of major with that? Yeah, so. yeah, so she is. Because <sighs> it's easy content. What's this right? one? Six hour hair day? Oh, jeez. Oh, yeah. <laughs> six hours to get the fucking hair done. A six hour hair day. Let's see. <laughs>
Why would she want Come with me for a six hour hair day? Wow. Yes, I said six hours. Honestly, no. not bad. Sometimes my hair can take up to eight hours. I need to get my This is going to be very expensive. Up. They were like halfway down my head, and I wanted to get a little refresh on my color. So we went in and we did some low lights and highlights after moving up my extensions. We were actually contemplating for like 20 minutes if I should touch my money pieces or not. And then I was like, you know what? Good hair color over hair health. She went and bought some coffee while this is going on. I just saw a little I know it looks part red, of the video. But do not be confused because it turns brown when you wash it out, if you can see. And then we went in to see the color. Who wants to watch her? Who wants to watch her get her hair done? We put a little curl. I want to know how much this costs. Let's see if she says. I feel like my hair needs something a little subtle and refresh. And then when I got home from Miami, my hair was genuinely so frizzy from the humidity. Come with me. Oh, so it was money well spent. She didn't say literally. No. I don't think she did. By the way, there's a comment there. Thank you for lovingly. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Thank who, you. Who went on her TikTok to say, thank you for loving Liam? Some stranger? <laughs> All right, let's the try. Fuck. Let's try this one. She's walking a day in Miami. Mini vlog. Ready? Here we go. Come spend the day with me in Miami. So I drove to Miami and I was stuck in such bad traffic. It was literally like an hour and a half drive. There it is. Five <laughs> seconds. Five <laughs> seconds. And then I went to go get my hair done. I just needed like a little bit of a refresh. I went for a quick coffee run because my hair literally took Wait, six hours. Wait, she just got a refresh like, in the last video. Coffee now. And then I met up with my friend Lexi and we had a cute little catch-up dinner. Even though I literally just saw her three days ago. I <laughs> oh, I literally. God, that, that's a record for Lou. Wow. Oh, boy. All right, one more because we're getting close that, to Carl time. that friend? Them, man. Yeah, yeah I want friends. you two to kiss each other. All right, She's like a friend. Oh, it's an oh, 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 that was oh, an outfit oh. of the night. Oh, O T N. O O T N. Outfit of the night where her boobs are just piling out. Outfit here. of the night. <laughs> it's not a thing, lady. I just came to do a little O O T N tonight. I'm going to dinner with my friends from college, and we are gonna go browse around the bars. <clears throat> so I'm wearing. This it's an awfully slutty outfit. Like a strapless top and like these flowy shorts. I don't know how I feel about the shorts, but you know, I feel like it's fun. Is it looking something um, a girl with a girlfriend would wear out at the bars? From Steve Madden. I feel like these are really fun. Are those boots so and loose then, at the top? Her legs are so thin. Yeah. She said that boots made like her legs look fat in one of the videos. It doesn't really go. But she said I literally. Bag because I brought, I brought all of my slick back products in here. Because I don't think so. She just. Oh, there it is. Oh, whoa. Like 38 <laughs> seconds. Wow, that was took a long time. Um, Nala, do you want to do an outfit check? O O T N. That's a thing now. Yeah, outfit of the night. Yeah, outfit of the night. You didn't know that, Brandon? Come on, get with it, dude. Yeah, Honey, I love one. you. I think you're a terrific girl, but you have clothes like a fucking dickhead.